Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Excel lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we will be going over Excel functions. We're just going to be reviewing two very basic but very useful Excel functions. Um, now, before we get started, I highly recommend that you click the link in the description to go to our website. Here in lesson two, you will see that you have access to the Excel uh, follow along spreadsheet. Okay. We have multiple tabs along the bottom. We'll be working on lesson two, which is functions. Now, since we are working in Excel, you'll notice this is actually a Google spreadsheet. Since we're working in Excel, I do recommend if you do have an Excel uh, subscription that you download the Excel for this, uh, if you can. Um, in order to do this, click File, Hover Over Download, and click on Microsoft Excel. Again, that's going to be File, Hover Over Download, and click on Microsoft Excel. Once you have your Excel file open, go ahead and click on Enable Editing. It's that yellow bar up at the top. And then move over to the second tab, which is Lesson 2, Functions. I'm going to zoom in for us a bit here. Now, like I said earlier in the video, we are just going to be doing two very basic uh, functions. This is going to be the sum function and the average function. Now, what is a function? A function is a preset formula within Excel that we can use to do some um, a little bit deeper analysis of the data that we have on hand. Right. So again, just two very basic, basic ones. If you just finished watching lesson one, you already know how to start a formula. And you know that to start a formula, we are going to use an equal sign. Now, before we would start clicking on cells and start working through our formula, but here, since we're using a function, we are going to start typing out the function. So since we're using the sum function, I'm going to go ahead and click on sum, and then I'm going to use an open parenthesis. And you'll notice once I put in that equals sum open parenthesis, this little bar here might be a little bit hard to see, but this little bar here opens up where it says, okay, this bolded is number one. So they want me to click on the first number. And here we're working with data set one. So let me click on this 96 in cell C5. Now it has a comma. If I put in a comma, notice now it's saying, okay, what about number two? Click. And then another comma, comma. Oh, okay, number three so on and so forth until I'm done, close my parenthesis. However, this can be a little bit tedious. So there are actually some ways to do this a little bit faster. Instead of clicking on each one individually and separating it with a comma, I can click on the first cell in my data set and drag it all the way down to my last cell. So now what you see is C5 colon C12. And what this colon means is everything from C5 all the way down to C12. So it's going to average all of those cells there. Once you're done, close parenthesis, and then just like before, click enter on your keyboard. And now we know that the sum of all eight of these numbers is 606. And just like before, this is still cell referencing. So if I change this from 52 to 520, it'll update that math for me. Now, if I run down to scenario 2B, let's see how we could do this a little bit faster. I don't want the sum of these numbers now, I want the average. So I'm going to click my equal sign and I'm going to start typing in average. And notice as I start typing, these little function boxes pop up. The second one here, average, is the one I want to use. So I could continue writing it or I could just double click that average. And you'll notice the same thing pops up as before. It has our open parenthesis. It's all ready for us to start doing some analysis. So again, we're working with data set one. So I'm going to click and drag all the way down. Now, one thing I didn't let you know before, if you're feeling confident with your, uh, your section, your selection section, uh, you technically don't need to close parenthesis. If you click enter on your keyboard now, it does the work for you. And you notice they added in that closed parenthesis themselves. 
So let's get a little bit more advanced. We have a bigger data set here, number two. Uh, let's practice using the sum function again. Equals sum, open parenthesis. And now I want to go ahead and select all of the data in this set. However, notice it's not in just one vertical line. Again, we can grab any corner, click, and drag. You notice it grabs everything from E5 to H12. E5 to H12. And you can click anywhere from any corner and select that. So any corner works. Once you have your data set selected, just like I said before, you technically don't need a close parenthesis. You can just click enter on your keyboard and it does the work for you. So for all of these numbers, let me highlight it. Little pro tip here down in the bottom, count 32. So for all 32 of these numbers, they did that work for me. We're gonna do the same thing for practice scenario number 2D. Set now for an average. So let's find the average of all of those a little bit faster now. Select, enter, done. So as you can see, the more comfortable that you get with some of these different functions, it's going to really speed up your processing time. And then one more, reformat the cell. Uh, format cell C32 to two decimal places. We learned about this in our last lesson. It's a little bit of practice. So I want it to be less decimals. So I'm going to say, decrease the decimal one two three to two decimals and keep in mind just like we learned last time if we ever wanted to check what we did before we can double click on the cell that has that formula or function and it'll show us what data we are pulling but that's it for this lesson in our next lesson we're going to start going over order of operations and understanding why PEMDAS was so important back in the day and also throwing in more formulas and cell referencing but okay um, until next time keep up the great work and happy studying